Hey, we're back. It's a new week. It's a new episode of your daily scrum with professional scrum trainers, Ryan Ripley and Todd Miller. We were gone for a week. We Todd, were. We should, probably, we should probably talk about what we were doing, right? Yeah, we were at a scrum.org face-to-face in Iceland. Iceland. Yeah. So that's a picture uh, that we took of Iceland, mm-hmm. one part of it. It's Reykjavik, which is the capital of Iceland. Spent a little time fishing. That's yep. Todd uh, with the mountains in the background. And we were actually successful. Yeah, look at that. We caught some fish, some nice two brown right. trout. Yeah, two brown trout right there. All natural in Iceland. Not uh, Didn't come from any farms or anything. So you can see the size of them if you're a fisherman. There's a pretty nice size brown trout. Yeah. But we're back this week. Back home in the U.S. Back to reality. And Todd, we had a lot of questions stack up in the comments, didn't we? We did. Oh, I just want to mention, Brian, that both those brown trout were safely released. Back yes. The wild. They Very were important back. to do that. We did. We did. We had a ton of questions. So it was a lot of time spent uh, catching up and adding them to our uh, our backlog for it. Uh, one kind of stuck out. Yeah. So when does work get assigned to developers on a scrum team? Hmm. What do you think there, Todd? <laughs> so I automatically think who's doing the assigning. Right. That's what that's the first question wants to come out in my head. I want to ask by who or yeah. whom. Right. Um, and I, I think that we're on the same page with this, that when we, we start to hear of developers getting assigned work, getting assigned tasks, I start to think that this is not a self-managing team. Uh, this is people being uh, assigned work explicitly. And it doesn't seem, uh, it's, it seems more like a collection of people than a team, a collection of people being assigned work rather than a team. What do you think, Ryan? Where's your head go with this? Yeah, I have to agree. The word assigned is incredibly problematic. Yeah. Um, I Look, Scrum is a, it's a pull system, right? Developers pull work into a, a sprint backlog, typically during sprint planning, but it can happen anytime during a sprint, right? Developers pull work in and out of a sprint backlog. They decide what they're going to work on. They get to decide the how of the work. Um, this, this idea of anything being assigned is really, um, or even being voluntold, like none of that exists in a, in a scrum setup. It is developers collectively deciding how they're going to achieve the sprint goal. And that's going to look different each and every day. That's why we have a, why we have a daily scrum to inspect progress, to see if we need to make adjustments. The whole framework is designed to, um, create this pull opportunity for developers. And so anything being pushed is antithetical to what the rest of the framework is trying to achieve here. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, even if a, if, if a team has tasks and developers are trying to earmark them to one another, I view that almost as an anti-pattern in and of itself, right? Yeah. Uh, to just be something that we collectively have to do, not something that you have to do or I have to do. Maybe, maybe I mean, we all have some notes and some sticky notes and stuff like that. But I feel like anything from a PBI to a task is co-owned by all of the developers on the team. Anybody that is... Um, contributing to the uh, to the build of the increment, right? Yeah, that whole idea of collective accountability is important too. And when names start getting assigned directly to pieces of work, that whole idea of we succeed or fail together kind of drifts away. And mm-hmm. uh, it causes issues, right? It causes, well, I'm not late, Todd's late. Yeah, right. I, I'm waiting on Ryan to finish this. Yeah, I couldn't do anything until Ryan did it. Right. So I feel like I feel like you start to lose uh, you start to really lose what's what's happening in between the lines here uh, and, 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 and teams self-selecting and managing their own work. And of course, the, the big, big pushback we always get on this one is, but they won't do it. Right. They won't. I, 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 I couldn't disagree more. Like, what, where are we thinking of people? We are. Why are we inherently thinking that people are lazy and not going to get their jobs done? We're working with professionals here. And perhaps if you haven't, um, if, if, if this isn't an instance in your office environment, those people haven't been empowered to get the job done. Right. Or uh, maybe you hired the wrong people. <laughs> And you have to cope with that hard question. So I, I feel like we're just always inherently looking for uh, someone to blame when, when I hear like, oh, but you didn't well, do your work. We have to assign it explicitly. So am I going too far down a rabbit hole here? Maybe oh. I'm like potentially still a bit tired, I think. Yeah, maybe some jet lag still set in. I think yeah. the, the quick answer to this one is never. Yeah. Work is yeah. never assigned. It is pulled in. So keep that in mind. Pull system and... Uh, good things might happen. 
Yeah, sounds All good. All right. I think it's end screen time. All right, everybody, be sure to check out the socials. We're pretty active on uh, Twitter and LinkedIn, especially. Like and subscribe so you never miss a video. Hey, some stuff's going to pop up here, some uh, some playlists that we have, our framework uh, playlist where you can learn Scrum and even get certified. Go take your PSM1 and conquer the world. Uh, we have our Agile Metrics playlist that Todd and Will Seeley put together all about EBM. We think you'll love that too. Hey, and a merch button's popping up. Go buy a hoodie. Check out a sweatshirt. Buy yourself a nice glass, whatever it is you like. The merch store is open. We hope to check that out too. For Todd Miller and Ryan Ripley, go forward, do some great scrum things. We're going to go get some sleep, clear up the jet lag, and we'll be back tomorrow. <laughs>